Hey, shalom, shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Baha, Hashem, Racha, HaKadosh, and double honors to the apostles and to the elders of great mist, one peace and salutations to the elect of nation of Israel. Um, I'm a brother, Mark Collard from the great mist, Jamaica camp, with another lesson here to feed the potential, like through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. And uh, I want to do a quick hit, you know, seeing that I, I think I can upload this um, quick and fast uh, using someone's internet. Uh, I want to speak about you know these new measures that the prime minister of jamaica is uh has imposed as you can see on the screen you can read it you know and uh, the oppression that they are pushing upon the people of israel as as the as the shapar the brother shapar the beloved brother shapar would say um little did you know you you um you lead us man you you you're, you're troubling poor little benjamin <laughs> you know you're, you're troubling little Benjamin because you know uh, remember Benjamin was the last one man you know as, a, as we born our mother died <laughs> so uh, uh, just just you know we're the motherless and also we're the fatherless because Yahweh Shai Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai you know he's not with us fully but he's with his his elect you know that remnant that that's speaking out against his oppressive oppressive measures and bringing it from the from the scriptures man and, and um uh, the, the the prime minister he held a, a, a press meeting today and the comment board and youtube was uh, was on blast people was asking if he was on uh, he was on that maxine he, if, if he's smoking or sniffing maxine and shit based off the measures but you know tighter measures gonna come because you know how about shemi Osha is bringing down the society uh on a rapid pace very very rapidly he's bringing it down because this is not the kingdom of heaven and uh you leaders man you're gonna be judged and the, the very same people that that uh voted you in they're gonna take you out man and they're gonna take you out along with your wives you know your children they're gonna take you out because that's prophecy man as a matter of fact let's let's get that in second it's just the 15 um i think it's the 16 chapter as a matter of fact let me just type it in right i think it's, yeah, it's 15 uh second is just hold on bear, bear me a second baba kwasha right second is just 15 right right <coughs> right uh second is just 15 verse 14 it says woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction right now you can see it man you can feel it you can taste it you can it, life as you as you know it is is no more it's different man you know everything is changing rapidly you know it says um i know and uh so like it says for the sword and your destruction dry nine and one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands so that's where it's war there it says and then your class war also okay you're gonna have the middle class against the upper class against the lower class you know different different people fighting against each other the verse 16 says for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power so that's that's that that's what i'm speaking of you can feel that uh, the, the, the 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 heat in the here in the atmosphere that, that this sedition is going to come and you see when the sedition do come or does come man the military won't dare to save it because the military men military men are is going to go rude the military is not going to be anymore man the police force is not going to be anymore there's going to be for a process of time that they're going to try to keep the peace you know but then 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 all all is going to just break loose and get out of hand and you can't control it because that's the judgment of your how about shami shai you know and a lot of you gonna caught a lot of your leaders gonna be caught up in it man <laughs> let me say marcus got a prophecy well no uh, Salakia, it's not it's not a prophecy it's a writing marcus garvey writing is gonna come to pass i stand corrected it's not a prophecy marcus garvey um writings when he said when the leaders you know of the of the country do not serve the people you know and basically destroy the people then they should be put into the town squares and, and, and stone they and their children and their wives and so on and so forth well, that's going to come to pass because, you know, the hard measures that is being put to place, supermarkets closing 12 o'clock, uh, not supermarkets, certain businesses closing down 12 o'clock 
so on and so forth that's that's extreme you know and 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 people are gonna say we have to survive we have to live you know and and you and, and they're saying they're saying oh this party there that party there and then you have people that actually live off party you know even though they know it's not the time to party you know it's the time to get serious with the spirit and power of your house you know but you have people that survive literally actually actually after uh, of these party man you know that whatever they, whether they're selling something you know whether they're the promoters or so, something man you know people that survive that's that's their um their daily bread our weekly bread you know but anyway uh back in Verse 17, he says, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Do you hear that, Mr. Holness? Horrible, bro, God. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? What's his name? Christopher Crofton. Did you hear that? He says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their houses because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, because there's a famine coming, man. See, and, and these measures that this, that is being put into place, the supply of food in people's houses is not, is not sure, man. So people is going to take whatever action that they have to take to ensure that they are food for they themselves and their families. And, and, and then you're going to have to stand the responsibility for that. Nevertheless, Yahweh Bashem Yashai will judge you, you leaders, because you he's like you have no regards for his words, man. How oh, dare you sit in the position of leadership and follow not what Yahweh Bashem Yashai says? And this is my scripture to you. And when I read this, I'm just going to close it off, man. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 6, verse 1, it says, Hear therefore, O ye kings, and understand. Learn ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. Aren't you guys judges, man? Speaking even of Esau, Edom. Why you, you see, these men, you pattern these men because they're the anointed cherub that cover it, the beacon of light. Let's, let's, let's say that's what you knew, you know, before you have heard us. That's what you knew when you follow what you knew. Well, now you see the light because I, I know that you guys locked in on our videos, man. See, and your prime minister is yet to tell me this day how the economy is growing when... <laughs> When we have to have, uh, be divesting the resources to bring forth the country's GDP, and I'm not gonna stop stress that man. And what, what, why I'm not gonna stress that is to show him that look, we ain't all fools out here, man. Yahweh Hashem Yashai teach us, man. You know, it, it is written in, in the prophets, I am wise than, than all my teachers, for that judgments of, 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 of quit me. Just paraphrasing in the book of Psalms, man. Anyway. Verse 2 says, Give here he that rule the people and the glory and glory in the multitude of nations, for power is given you of the Lord and sovereignty from the highest who shall try your works and search your counsels. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? It says the power is given to you from Yahweh Basham Yahushai, who you call God and Jesus, man. And he's gonna try every works that you're doing. You see all these measures that they put in? <laughs> they are be found lacking in, 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 in the balance, man. They are not, not properly portioned. Verse 4, because, because being ministers of his kingdom, he have not judged a right nor kept the law. Because you, you're ruling over Benjamin, man. The chief, a, a chief city among Benjamin, Jamaica. Let's, let's say that. And it's not just Jamaica, it's in Trinidad, Barbados, you know, all over the Caribbean. Everywhere that Jake Ben. Because first and foremost, this is the return of our, our Lord. Remember this year is the year of the hastening of the coming of our Lord. Right? It says, because, he be, because being ministers of his kingdom, he have not judged aright, nor kept the law, nor walk after the counsels of Yahweh. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places, like in King's house, man. <laughs> you know? In, in this parliament house, man, it says a sharp judgment is going to come, man, horribly, to you that sit, at the, sit at, in high places, you know. It says, for mercy will soon pardon the meanest, but mighty men shall be mightily tormented. <laughs> you, know, you get so used to be calling bro God, man. You see people that's calling you bro God, they're the same ones that's going to tear your asses down, man. It says, mighty men 
shall mightily be tormented, shall be mightily tormented. For he which is Lord over all shall fear no man's person. And that's that's what you're missing. You can't give the Lord five thousand dollar or ten thousand dollar to to, 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 to to stop him from judging your asses, man. This is the Lord, man. The Lord say all the flocks and his is his is his. If he was hungry, he wouldn't tell us, man. You can't buy out your house, Basham Yoshai. Now, in this kingdom, everybody have a price, man. But you can't buy out the Lord, man. It says, For he which is Lord shall, Lord over her, shall fear no man's person, neither shall he stand in awe of any man's greatness, for he had made the small and the great and cared for all alike. But a sore trial shall come upon the mighty. Upon you, therefore, O ye kings, do I speak, that ye may learn wisdom and not fall away. So, so we are, we are the ones that actually fear Yahweh, fear Yahweh, Basham Yahweh, so we don't fall away from this ministry, from this gospel. You're going to fall away. All of you that sit in the parliament house, your, 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 your father, the devil, the so-called white man, he's going to fall away. How much more you? He's going to fall away. Why is he going to fall away? Because he's a goddamn devil. And he's, his time to rule is almost uh, um, uh, come to an end. Now it's coming to an end. Then guess what? The righteous have to rule. Who's the righteous? The elect of the nation of Israel, which we strive to be a part of, man. Anyway, let I want to say shalom.